is yeah, we are going to be treated yet again to uh, a sunny 4th of July. We are going to have a couple more clouds in the sky, possibly, especially as we head through the rest of this work week. But outside that marine layer along the coastline is kind of inevitable through the evening hours is when we have that better likelihood of clearer conditions. Although today, tomorrow and for a portion of Thursday, we're going to hang out with some patchy clouds out there even along the coastline. So far, satellite radar has been all right. I want to give you that look of uh, what we've seen on your watches, warnings and advisories map. A good portion of the state of California is still under some sort of watch warning or advisory. That ridge of high pressure is still centered overhead, encompassing a hefty portion of Washington, Oregon, the state of Idaho, almost the entire state of Idaho under some sort of uh, watch warning or advisory. Most of these are either heat advisories or excessive heat warnings. We had ours that was in effect yesterday. However, south of LA, there is nothing currently in effect, uh, which is good news for us. If you at least are trying to get away from that heat, Coastline has done a great job of regulating itself onshore flow. A combination of that along with some cloud cover has kept those temperatures relatively cool in the low 70s along the coastline. Over the next couple hours, though, you could see how those clouds are going to really increase across the county. So it doesn't matter where you are in the county. You've got a good likelihood of running into some clouds this afternoon. Higher humidity values, even the possibility of some showers. We start to see a little bit of green on the screen here through your Tuesday afternoon. So this afternoon going into your Wednesday, by the time we get to your Wednesday afternoon, a better likelihood of even some thunderstorms storms in the mix. You see that mix of clouds and then by the time we get to Thursday afternoon with those very warm temperatures across your mountains, we're going to see some yellow and orange pop up on the screen. What that means for us is that your mountains and your deserts in San Diego County could easily run in to some thunderstorms along the coastline, maybe a drizzle or two, but in general today is going to be a sunny day with just those patchy cumulus clouds at times. Those clouds that you look at that you're a little unsure of maybe could produce a little bit of moisture and that's going to be the case all the way through the day today and tomorrow before things start to break down by by the time we get into your about Thursday and Friday. Now, looking at your high temperatures yet again along the coastline looking very nice. You see mainly 70s in there 75 for Oceanside 71 for Carlsbad 71 for Del Mar looking inland though. That's where we start to really see that warmth kick in. We've got 83 for Escondido 86 for Ramona 91 for Julian and another high in the triple digits 107 for Borrego Springs. Now take a look at what we've got on your eight day microclimate forecast. Not too bad out there along the coastline temperatures stay regulated thanks to the cloud cover and in uh, onshore flow as you move farther inland. You see those 80s come about fourth July weekend looking beautiful with plenty of sunshine, partly cloudy conditions along your coastline. Looking at your mountains and your deserts, warmth is sticking around for both regions. As we head into your uh, 4th of July weekend, you see still 110 degrees possible on Sunday itself. Upper 80s across your mountains, but we will have plenty of sunshine in the mix. A fair and dry weekend ahead. I'll send things back to you, Eric.